So let's turn on the jets to not only have happy clients, but get lots more sellers as well. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your business. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how you can provide wow service. More importantly, develop a relationship with your prospects and your clients that will ultimately get you lots of referrals and repeat business. You know, there are a million ways for you to provide wow service. But what I've always found is, you know, when I first started selling real estate, Anytime something bad comes up in a transaction, let's say I have a listing and the inspection comes back bad and they want all kinds of repairs and that type of thing, their willingness to accept my advice as the realtor really comes down to how strong the relationship was before the bad thing happened. Now, when you think about it, friendships or marriages or anything like that, the strength of that relationship is really what matters when shit hits the fan. Right. So anytime something bad happens, it depends on everything else that was in the way. So, you know, they've always said uh, for guys that are watching, your wife is not mad at you that you're leaving your socks laying around all the time. She's freaking out over those stupid socks because of the 500 other things that are going on. Uh, and that is what's going on because of the relationship, the current status of the relationship that drives them crazy. Well, the same is true when it comes to buyers and sellers and Anybody that you're working with, you want to develop a nice, strong relationship so that if something gets a little bumpy, you can fix that. Now, additionally, the better they think mentally about you, the higher regard they have in their mind as to who you are as their realtor, their friend, their advisor, the person that they can trust, the higher that they have you, the better you're going to do when it comes to referrals. They're naturally thinking of you. They want to help you. They actually uh, would desire to get you more business because they think highly of you. So one thing that we've done, and this is so silly, it's so small, and it's so effective. You're going to think, why in the world haven't I done this? You know, a lot of times when you first list a property, you'll have uh, homeowners that get cold feet, right? I shouldn't say a lot of times, but occasionally. You'll have homeowners that get cold feet. You list the home, it's been on the market for a day, or it's been on the market for two days, and then they freak out. Oh, we decided not to sell. Take it off the market. We're not going to sell. We're just going to stay here. They freak out, right? So what we've got to do is our first couple of communications with our seller needs to provide wow service, needs to make them feel good inside, needs to make them realize that they're doing the right thing. One thing that I've always done, and this, I mean, again, it is so basic, but man, if you do it once, you're going to have phenomenal results. So what I always did is I bought, actually, I've got them right here. Uh, I bought, I think I got them right here, a whole bunch of cards, okay, greeting cards. So you take these little greeting cards, right? You take these greeting cards and you just keep them with you all the time. Now you can get those regular size ones or you can get the smaller ones. But every time we schedule pictures for a new listing, now way back in the day, we used to do our own photos. Now we're hiring professional photographers, but you go there for the photos. What I want you to do is I want you to take some fresh flowers, okay? You're going to spend 20 bucks. I literally used to go to the grocery store. Now I had a little $5 vase that we used as well, but I would go to the grocery store and they have a little floral section there and I would get a fancy one, 10, $20, wow, 20 bucks. Uh, and I would get a dozen flowers or assorted colors or whatever. And what I would do is when we would take those photos, I would put those flowers in two photos. Usually it would be like the kitchen and maybe the dining area. Now they don't know this, right? They haven't even seen their photos yet. They're anxious. What are the photos going to come out like? But I would put that bouquet of flowers in two of the pictures. Now here's the cool part about it though. Once you're done with the photos, leave the flowers with a handwritten note specifically about the transaction. Hey, you guys did such an amazing job getting the home ready for uh, pictures today. Uh, absolutely stunning. I'm really excited to get this going. We've already started our target marketing approach, and I really feel good about this. We'll get these pictures loaded, and I think you're going to be very impressed. Here's a, a, a bouquet of fresh flowers. I wanted you to, is it bouquet or bouquet? I think it's, it, here's a bunch of flowers, um, and uh, uh, hopefully this brightens your day, right? Something very basic. I probably would make it better than what I just ad-libbed to you there. 
Uh, but that is a really cool way when they come home. This is the keep in mind. This is the first time they've left their house about this home sale. This is the first time. OK, is everything ready? Are the lights on? Is it like this is the first time they've ever done it? If they come home to these flowers. You're a 10. You are a 10 immediately. You are the best realtor in the world. The, the wife of the home, she's always loved to have fresh flowers anyway. They never have time to go get them. They only last for five days, whatever. Uh, she's always loved having fresh flowers. It's not uncommon. I've seen these. If we've had listings that last 30 to 60 days, they keep going back and getting more fresh flowers for the house. It's the new them. They just like having fresh flowers in the house. So this is a really cool way for you to spend literally 20 bucks, 30 bucks. You don't have to spend much. You don't have to go to a fancy florist and spend tons of money. I always did it at the grocery store. I bought a whole bunch of vases for vases, vases. What I think there's a, a fancy and a regular way to say all things regarding flowers. Uh, but I bought a whole bunch of those. And uh, anytime we'd have pictures scheduled, whether I was doing it or we had a pro doing it or whatever, I would always take those. I would put them in two of the photos because they come home once and they get a big wow factor. Oh my gosh, look, there's flowers. They then get a second wow factor. Oh, there's a card and it's handwritten. When was the last time you think they got a handwritten card? That's the second wow factor. And then the third wow factor when they're going through the photos. Oh, look, there's the flowers. You've created three wow factors on day one from the photo day. This will help you tremendously in building that relationship. They know that you're good at this. Obviously, a rookie wouldn't do this. This is a pro realtor that knows what they're doing. So as you get through this relationship, any bumps in the road, you need a price reduction. An inspection comes back bad. We've got feed, bad feedback of something that needs fixed or changed or decluttered or whatever. That relationship is strong enough that they're going to take advice from you. So uh, what you'll find is, and obviously, as we create these uh, daily morning meetings for you and these trainings and these little ideas that are sometimes about marketing, sometimes about staging, sometimes about, you know, wow factors for your clients, it's all about making you more money. That's why you follow the channel here. That's why you ring the bell. So you're getting some of this information. But my recommendation to you is you try this on a couple, try it on one listing and watch the wow factor that is created. It's a little thing, a little, uh, you know, I've always said little hinges swing big doors. And this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for you because of the quality of that relationship when you show them you care, when you show them you're aware, you're awake, you know what's going on in this business, uh, you've staged it a little bit, uh, you've got a little color that pops in the kitchen photo, which is the most important thing. Uh, this is really going to go a long way for you. Uh, we've got some uh, coaching calls coming up for those of you that are Inner Circle Coaching members. I want to keep making sure you're pumping money into your business. You're getting all kinds of revenue coming in. Uh, seller closings, buyer closings. You want that bank account that you have, you should be putting tons of closing checks in there because you've changed your approach. So we've got some coaching calls that are coming up that will help you. If you're not a member with us, you can open the little video description box down here. Open that up. I think it says see more. Uh, you're going to see a whole bunch of links that will help you like the new one at getfastclosings.com. You should see that below there. Uh, but anyway, provide that wow factor. Show these homeowners this is something that can make a big difference for you uh, by creating that relationship. Show them that you know what you're doing. Uh, it's a nice little extra touch to what you're doing for the first time they've ever left their home. This is a big, scary routine for them. Let them come home and have a little smile. I think you'll find it to be very helpful. I'm Greg Luther. Thanks so much for watching. Watch a few more videos here. Check out the link. Uh, check out the, uh, the channel here. I got all kinds of training for you. Jump in here. Check it out. Share it with a friend. By the way, if you like this idea on the whole floral arrangement thing, share this with a couple of realtors. Hit the share button here or take the link at the top and share it with them. I think they're going to find it very helpful too. And uh, will make a big difference for the relationship with your clients. I'm Greg Luther. We'll talk to you soon. And bye-bye for now.